Hello, good day to you. Uh, my brief video today is about enabling nested KVM. So this uh, video is you know for you if you are working with uh, KVM or if you are creating OpenStack Cloud on a virtual machine and you need to be able to launch you know virtual machine on your OpenStack Cloud. So this is gonna be a necessary information for you. Or if you just want to be able to create a virtual machine inside a, a virtual machine, so our nested KVM, you know, is for you. So there's a particular parameter, you know, that comes with the KVM underscore Intel model, you know, the kernel model. And this is, you know, uh, specifically on Linux uh, environment. So if you run mod info on the KVM, uh, let me so I am on this system. My system is actually uh, red <coughs> CentOS CentOS 7.3. So if you run mod, mod info kvm underscore intel, uh, there's a particular parameter called nested, nested. So this parameter is the parameter you know that allows you to be able to create a virtual machine inside the virtual machine. If this parameter is disabled, you will not be able to run, you know, virtual machine inside your virtual machine, you know, on that physical host. So this parameter uh, is actually, you know, on the physical host, you know, that, you know, that you are running your virtual machines on. So uh, if you want to know what the current value is, there's a particular file, you know, you can check out, you can do a cut of this file slash sys slash module slash kvm underscore intel slash parameters underscore oh uh, sorry slash nested so you see uh, it says why that means yes you know that means it is enabled on this machine so i am actually running openstack as you can see from the name of this machine it's a uh, I'm running OpenStack Cloud on this machine, so so I am able to cre create you know virtual machines inside another virtual machines you know on this you know uh, on this machine. So basically, if you want to enable this parameter permanently, there's another file you can check. So that is the uh, Etsy modprob.d slash kvm.conf so if i look at this file i have it enabled earlier so there's an option so as you can see from you know some of the documentation here it says uh setting mod probe kvm you know so it says enables virtual virtualization until the next reboot or module reload so so if you want this option you know to be permanent you know so that when when you when when you re re reboot your machine you have to add options you know kvm intel nested equals to one so this uh is telling us that if you if we run this command because we can actually temporarily enable you know that we can we can temporarily en enable this parameter. So if we run mod probe, uh, mod probe. Yeah, let me just actually just copy this for the sake of time. We can temporarily. So if you need to temporarily, you know, enable this parameter, you can just run, you know, mod probe kvm underscore intel then set you know this parameter if i want to disable it you know temporarily i can run mod probe kvm underscore intel nested equals to zero so if i look at this file again now now that i disabled it if i look at this file okay it's still on yes because i think yeah this is yeah this only change you know on reboot so this is still be yes but uh, this will take effect you know right now but if i re if i don't have it set permanently or uh, i will lose that value so that is about that so the this uh kvm underscore intel 
there is a counterpart for AMD machines. So if you are working on AMD environment, uh, you can you know set it for AMD. So uh, briefly, that is what I have to say. So this is very important for you if you are you know setting up OpenStack Cloud inside a virtual machine, especially, and you want to be able to launch instances on that virtual machine. So like I said, I have, so if I actually do virtual list, so I actually have, you know, my compute node and my network node for my OpenStack. Let me actually show you for the sake of completeness. So, um, so this OpenStack, I'm, you know, running it on virtual machines. So, and I am able to, so if I go to instances, I am able to create instances, you know, I have an instance running. So this is an example of virtual machine inside of a virtual machine. Without enabling, you know, this option, um, it is not going to be possible. So that is all I have. So let me know what you think. If you like this video, you can like it and subscribe. Bye. Take care. See you.